A 41-foot long ladder is leaning against a vertical wall of a building. The base of the ladder is being pulled away from the wall at a rate of 7 feet per second. Determine the rate of change of the top of the ladder when the base of the ladder is 9 feet away from the wall. Let's first label all three sides of the right triangle. Let's label the horizontal leg X, the vertical leg Y, and the hypotenuse, which would be the length of the ladder, Z. And we know Z, of course, is 41 feet. We're also told that the base of the ladder is being pulled away from the wall at a rate of 7 feet per second, which would be in this direction here. Notice X is increasing at a rate of 7 feet per second, which we state as dx dt equals 7 feet per second. We're trying to determine the rate of change of the top of the ladder. We'll notice how as x increases, the top of the ladder is going to be moving downward. We express this rate as dy dt. So our goal here is to determine dy dt right when the base of the ladder is nine feet away from the wall, which means when x is equal to nine feet. And now we need to write an equation that relates x and y, and we'll also have to include z because we'll be using the Pythagorean theorem. So applying the Pythagorean theorem, we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared, but we also know z never changes, and therefore we can substitute 41 for z. This gives us the equation x squared plus y squared equals the square of 41. And now we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t. We have the derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to t equals the derivative of 41 squared with respect to t. On the left, because we're differentiating with respect to t and we have x and y terms, we need to apply the chain rule. The derivative of x squared with respect to t is equal to 2x times dx dt, again we're applying the chain rule here, plus the derivative of y squared with respect to t is 2y times dy dt. This is equal to the derivative of 41 squared with respect to t, and since 41 squared is a constant, the derivative is zero. From here, because we're looking for dy dt, we now need to solve the equation for dy dt. Let's first subtract 2x dx dt on both sides. This gives us 2y times dy dt equals negative 2x times dx dt. And the final step to solve for dy dt is to divide both sides by 2y. Simplifying, we have dy dt equals of course, 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1. We have negative x times dx dt, all divided by y. Notice to find dy dt, we need to know x, y, and dx dt. We know dx dt is 7 feet per second. We're trying to find dy dt when x equals 9, but we still have to determine the value of y when x is 9, and we know z is 41. So if x is equal to 9, using the Pythagorean theorem, we know y squared plus 9 squared must equal 41 squared, and therefore y squared is equal to 41 squared minus 9 squared, or we can say y is equal to the square root of the difference of 41 squared and 9 squared giving us y equals 40. And now we can find dy dt. dy dt is equal to negative x, which is negative 9, times dx dt, which is 7. I'll divide it by y, which we now know is 40. Simplifying, we have negative 63 fortieths. And again, this is measuring the change in y with respect to time in seconds, and y is measured in feet. The units here are feet per second. 
So now we know the change in y with respect to time is negative 63 fortieths feet per second, or y is decreasing at a rate of 63 fortieths feet per second under the given conditions. I hope you found this helpful.